as long as I've been in this industry, sometimes I'm still, I have that voice in me. I have that nervousness in my gut, um, especially when there's something that I may want to say that is counter to what may be, set, be being said at the moment in the room. I have young ladies all the time coming to me with that as an issue where they've been told uh, in their performance review, you're not speaking up enough. I have men who come and tell me that as well. Uh, what I always say to them is something quite similar to what you said. You can, if you're going to a meeting, you can anticipate what that, you know what the conversation is. You can anticipate what that conversation and the nuances of that conversation will be. I definitely believe in sitting down for a while before a meeting, especially if you're very nervous about presenting your perspective, anticipating what the conversation will be, anticipating where you think you can contribute um, in your unique way, in your authentic way, scripting, you know, li literally writing out what you might say. It helps you have more confidence in what you're about to say. Uh, but I also tell women all the time that um, that nervousness is something that even the most seasoned people experience. It doesn't always go away. And for some reason, that tends to give, make them feel, oh my God, you feel like that too? Yes, I feel like that, and I feel like that often. But how do you take it and work it to your advantage? So every time you have that gut that, or that sense that um, you're afraid, turn that into the opportunity to actually fight it by, the only way you're gonna fight it is by doing it. And the more you do it, as you said, it becomes easier and easier and easier. But I just believe you have to anticipate the conversation and, and find your voice by doing that. It's like a homework assignment.